So as students continue their reaction to the racist comments that went viral online, our Catherine Merck asked a legal expert about the free speech laws that protect this student. Catherine? The Change.com petition to expel the UW-Madison student who said racial slurs in a video has over 45,000 signatures. But one professor at UW-Madison says no matter how many people sign it, it won't change what the university can do. Students at UW-Madison continue to ask for something to be done about the student in this clip. I'm going to go back and haunt every little I literally hate all of them. I'm gonna make them pick iron in the fields. Students are criticizing the university's response by the hundreds. One administrator taking to Twitter to address students who say condemning racism isn't enough. I wrote a letter yesterday, and I regret that the letter that I shared yesterday was not received by some in the way I intended. University officials say they can't take action against posts that are not unlawful. With his background as a political science professor at UW-Madison, Howard Schwaber says that's true. The way the First Amendment works in practice is it protects all expression that does not fall into a particular category of unprotected expression. Things like threats, blackmail, uh, fraud. The statements in this video uh, do not fit any of those unprotected categories. They're offensive. Uh, they're a bit horrifying, um, but they are not by any means a threat directed at a specific person. They are not, they don't fit any of the descriptions of the kind of speech that the government is permitted to punish. Other universities have handled these situations differently, sometimes depending if they're public or private. The rules of a public university can't violate First Amendment rights. While the student protests may continue, they might not get the result they want. The mere fact that other students find the expression so offensive that they are moved to then act in ways that interfere with their own studies, uh, that's not a, a, an interest that overcomes any kind of First Amendment right. What the university can do and did do in their statement is condemn the video. UW-Madison officials said racist slurs do not represent or reflect UW-Madison values around creating an inclusive community.